Hello friends, welcome to our website automationcommunity.com. Today in the series of Factory IO, we have come back with another interesting example that is buffer conveyor. So as you can see the working model over here, whenever there are three boxes on this conveyor, it will not allow another box to come on this conveyor until all this passes. So this is our example of buffer conveyor in the factory IO. You can see how it is working. Anytime if there are three boxes on this conveyor, this conveyor is stopped and until all the three boxes passes, another three boxes will not come over here. So let us see how you can create same project at your computer. So first of all, I am stopping my simulation from here. So friends, what I will do, I will show you how I get this model, I'll go to open scenes and select this model Q of item counters and the model is over here, just change uh, these timings and uh, also what we have to do, we have to change the address in the factory IO because in the inputs I have used inputs starting from address 5 okay so let's start our simulation so the one box has passed now second has passed and the third box has passed so it has stopped this conveyor and when the third box will pass through this sensor this will be started again so we have checked how I designed this factory IO model and it's working with my simulation. Now I will show you the logic part. So I have simple created four networks out, to, out of which the first network is enabling the factory IO function block. So only in the three networks I have done all this programming. So if you don't know about how to create the project in the factory IO on TIA portal, you can see initial videos of our this series so coming to our the this networks so our first network is for this entry sensor over here so first sensor is for the entry conveyor over here for setting and resetting this so first time when this conveyor will be start when the item is ready and the this 1.0 it is a bit of counting up if the counting up is not done and the item is ready it will start that is for the first time second time when it will start this is the bit when the counting down has completed this this means when the three boxes leaves the conveyor it will again start the entry conveyor so that is this bit when the three conveyors when the three boxes leave and this is the nc bit means if the three books are already on the conveyor, then it will not set this entry conveyor. And when, so what I have done, I have taken, okay, let me show you this one. So I have taken one count up and count down counter. As soon as the box will pass over here, it will count up. Okay, first it will count up. Now, when the box comes, okay and the box leaves there will be positive triggering so i have taken the positive pulse of the entry sensor means box passed through this sensor and the factory i was running then it will count up and finally so when the count up you can see this output count up is done that means this bit is on what should happen here you can see when the count up is done, entry conveyor should be resetted and it should not set again, okay? Because box will be there but it should not set again. So that is the first function, okay? Now, here I have taken exit sensor. As soon as the box touch over here, the sensor will be off. So I have taken the negative triggering. 
if the buffer conveyor is on so i have taken this interlock otherwise what will happen first time when will i will start the simulation this conveyor will be off and it will directly count one so i have to take this interlock if this this is our buffer conveyor so if this conveyor is on and there is the negative triggering of this exit sensor it will count down so when the countdown is completed means three boxes has passed m1.1 will be energized so m1.1 what will do it will again start the entry conveyor so here you can simply see when the count up is completed means three box are on the conveyor it will stop entry conveyor and when three box leaves the conveyor this bit will be set at so it will again set this entry conveyor and when the factory io is stopped means i stop this simulation this nc will be energized right now this is on i5.3 is on so its nc will be off when i stop this bit the nc will be on and it will stop our entry conveyor means this is my start stop button assume like this okay so this is network 2 okay i explain you this is the my last network okay and when i stop the factory io counter should be resetted that means if i stop this and again run this it should start from zero okay so i have taken this bit how i got this block so that thing i also show you before that let us see what is in the network number 3 so simple when the factory io stop this buffer conveyor should be stop and first time uh, when there will be negative pulse over here means the box has just come over here it will start the conveyor for the first time that is only the logic so this was simple short and simple logic for this program now i will show you how i got that count up and count down function block okay how i got this so in the instructions i will go to counter and this i will just drag and drop like this and my function block is over here and here you have to select auto i mean automatic and click okay you can see and here we have to connect our no context like when you want to do count down when you want to count up when you want to reset this and how much you want to count and what you want to energize so right now i will do this here you can see with entry sensor i will count up with the exit sensor i will count down and when the factory io is stopped counter should be resetted it will count up to 3 and these are count up set bit and count down set bit okay i hope you understood and like this logic if you wish to see more examples like this show your interest by liking and subscribing our youtube channel meet you in the next video with another interesting example